Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In my video series on meditation, today I'll be talking about something very important before we actually start how to do meditation. This aspect is very important, so you must know it beforehand. Our mental body is mysterious. You can feel it, but you cannot see it. On the other hand, it's influencing your entire system continuously. Your physical body is intimately connected with your mental body. Every happening in your mental body is affecting your physical body. When you feel fearful and nervous about something, your hands or legs may tremble on its own. You can't stop it. When you're positive and confident, you get more energy and strength in your physical body that reflects in your activities. Why this happens? To know how meditation helps us, you must get some idea about the mysteries of your mind and your brain. How the mind and your physical body is connected, we must know about it so that you can understand how meditation helps us in, in this system in this process. In this video, we shall unravel some of these mysteries so that we may fairly know about the purpose of doing meditation. We will talk about mind, the mental body, the most important system within us. Rather, we are, to my understanding, we are a mental entity. Everything is happening through our mind. But this mind has got two states. One is a conscious state and the subconscious state. So conscious state of mind and subconscious state of mind, let us understand what is this. Every moment you are receiving huge amount of data from the environment which is bombarding your mental body continuously. Your brain is receiving about 11 million bits of information per second through your sensory organs. This is enough to stream a high definition movie. However, the conscious mind can only process 40 to 50 bits of information per second. These data are entering into your conscious mind and this is known as our temporary memory. Our conscious mind is our temporary memory and this is just like the RAM of a computer, the RAM or the random access memory of a computer where the memory is temporary. As this data enter into your conscious mind, your most precious organ, your brain becomes active and it starts processing this data continuously. The processing results into a perception which is received by your consciousness and you become aware of it. When you talk to somebody, you collect data, you process it, perceive it and then give some response. This is happening in your conscious mind. Subsequently, when you stop this conversation and shift to some other conversation or activity, you clear your RAM or random access memory with the previous data and start collecting data for the next activity and repeat the process as earlier. So it's continuously happening in our random access memory. Some data is coming, we are processing it, then releasing it. Then again, new data is coming and then again, you are processing it. It is continuing. Now, suppose you want to go back to the initial conversation, which you may had earlier, done earlier. You will need those previous data, which you had already done. Now, where you will get that data related to your earlier conversation, which you have already done, where will you get that? Yes, there is a space in our mind where you store your old data. The data related to all your previous conversations, activities and thoughts are stored in this space. And this space is your subconscious mind or your permanent memory, which is just like the hard disk of a computer. Consciously or unconsciously, your system is entering into this space whenever required to gather information about any intended activity. Then it makes the necessary processing and derives some conclusion. This is happening continuously throughout your life. So there are two states of mind. One is the conscious state where you're receiving data 
making the processing and then you are shifting those data into an another memory which is our known as our subconscious mind which is like the hard disk of a computer. Now let us define this conscious and subconscious mind. The conscious mind is that part of our mind which is actively aware of the thoughts, perceptions and surroundings. The conscious mind performs the logical reasoning, the active decision making. It is aware of the present moment. Our conscious mind controls our voluntary actions performed by us like moving, speaking, writing, etc. Everything that you are doing is being done by our conscious memory. Now, it can process information in a slow but in a deliberate manner. The functions of a, our conscious mind is our analytical thinking, uh, and the voluntary actions and it is our short term memory. It does not remain, the data does not remain here for long, then it is removed, removed from here. An example that you want to solve a mathematical problem or deciding the direction of a path where you are going while you are driving is done in your short term memory or in your conscious mind. Now what is subconscious mind? The subconscious mind functions below the level of conscious mind. It is the depository of habits, your beliefs, your memory, your emotions, etc. Our subconscious mind influences our behavior automatically. The processing speed of subconscious mind is faster than that of the conscious mind. It works at the background and guides us in taking actions and giving responses. It works on the basis of data stored from the past experiences and conditioning. The functions of subconscious mind is it is automatic, it has got automatic actions and habits. It gives emotional response and it is a long term memory storage. All data accumulated by us throughout our life is stored here in this space, right. The example of the function of your long term memory is that while you are driving a car, you need not think every time. Once you learn how to drive, you need not think every time that how to do it. Automatically, you keep on driving your car even while singing or you are talking to other people. So, there are stored data from within which is automatically involuntarily helping you to drive the car. In reality, our conscious mind is a thinking mind where you think and reprocess at the present moment, whereas the subconscious mind is the automatic mind that shapes be our behaviors and our responses based on accumulated information automatically. That is the beauty of this, this thing. We are not to not need not think every time about how to do a particular thing which you have already learned. We do it automatically. We drive our car automatically. We start moving automatically. We run automatically. We don't need to think it. But whereas a child was yet to start moving or running or walking, he needs he needs to think about it. So once this comes into your habit, he learns how to do it, it is stored in his, in his subconscious mind and it does it automatically. So as I said earlier, there is a continuous flow of data from your subconscious mind consciously or unconsciously as and when required. And from this data only, our body is functioning continuously without even asking, it is doing it automatically. This process is associated with countless eruptions of data, data that results in the arousal of various emotions and reactions within you. As a consequence, since there is a lot of data eruptions and emotions being released, the consequences is that it affects our physical and our mental body in the form of stress and strain. It also creates turbulence of newly generated thoughts. Now, thoughts are being generated within. And that suppresses our real entity and you lose sight of that. You get covered under the garbage of this entire data and our true self is covered under this. So when you are subjected to this physical, uh, this psychological factor such as stress, anxiety or unresolved emotional conflict remaining within our subconscious or conscious mind, it affects our physicality in the form of various psychosomatic diseases. 
which can even become a cardiovascular disease or a digestive problem or a respiratory system problem. It describes the mind's influence on the body, since our mental body and physical body are interconnected with each other. If you want to release the undesirable data stored in this permanent memory because of which such problems are being happening into our physical body or your mental body, you need to adopt a method by which you may enter into this area of your mind at your will and clear those clogged thoughts and vibrations to get rid of our stress and its effects within us. By getting rid of these thoughts, you may remove your stress and strain from your mind and at the same time, you may have a realization of your inner self in its true form. Yes, there is a process and that process is meditation. Meditation is a process, the practice of which can help us releasing such stress and strain from our mind, resulting in happy and healthy life. When we practice meditation, we release the unresolved issues of our mind. We stop worrying and overthinking, thus releasing the stress. While doing meditation, our body releases various beneficial hormones also, which reduces our stress, gives happiness and peace. As a result, in totality, we remove the bad effect of stress from our body and can lead a happy and healthy life. I hope by now you have become aware about the conscious and subconscious mind. You also know how stress and strain affects our mental as well as physical body and what role meditation plays to come out of those issues. You should practice the method suggested by me in my first video for 5 to 10 minutes so as to feel the process of meditation and get some relaxation. In my future videos, as I have already told you, I shall describe the detailed process of doing meditation step by step. Just a, few, just a few more videos, then you will be starting that. I wish that all of you start doing meditation, become free of stress and get peace in life. Thank you very much for listening to me till this time. If you have liked this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, like and share. Your small action would help me a lot. This was my fourth video on meditation. Please write in the comments about any question that you may have on the subject. Please feel free to do it because I will be happy to interact with you. Just my, remember it that in my next video I may be probably talking about the various frequency levels of brain while doing meditation. Right? So that you can understand the basics of the meditation and then we can pro start with our real process of doing meditation. So just don't be impatient, have patience and start do it, learn it step by step. Next time again, I shall come up with an, another topic on meditation. Till the time I meet you again, all the best, please take care of yourself.